the bobsled. The bobsled course is a mile and a quarter long. The record for it is one minute, 16 and five ten seconds held by fire event, the Swiss. The RAF represented Britain, and here you see the number one crew getting out their sled and weighing in. A bobsled must not weigh more than 502 pounds and is ridden by a team of four on whose weight there is no restriction. Hence the crew you see. There goes the British team, number one steers, two and three are ballast, and four is brakeman, besides being responsible for the initial push-off. Here comes the British team up to the finish, with the empty Cressler course running parallel on the right. They finish seventh. That's France starting. And now comes the USA number two team, which eventually won with an aggregate of five minutes, 20 and one tenth seconds for four runs. There's the crack Swiss number one team, who are going so fast that they overran the finish and rammed the bank. Their first run was the fastest of all, one minute, 16 and nine tenths seconds, only two fifths of a second off the record. Despite this, they are only finished fourth on their four run total. Here's the French team starting in the race for boblets, manned by two only. They must not weigh more than 360 pounds, but again, their riders can be as heavy as they like. And there goes America. The curves all have apt names, like Snake, Sunny, and Horseshoe. Horseshoe, the most terrifying of all, where the turn is so acute that riders often get a blackout. That's a British pair, Wing Commander Coles and Group Captain Collings. Here they go through Sunny, and now past trees under bridge, over leap, and up to the finish. Here comes the U.S. second pair, Fortune and Karen, who are third. Now the triumphant Swiss, who took first and second place. And now back to Ted.